I don't remember Sorry. that. I watch Family Guy and I have very inappropriate <laughs> humor. I will not say anything inappropriate on camera. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Well. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him. Yeah, I know. I'm the wrong person. Well, I think uh, with uh, Seth McFarlane, he has his Orville show here. Oh. If you're interested in that. So, how, how's your New York Comic Con experience been so far? First Comic Con. Con. First, first con. con. First right. con. So you guys yeah, call it, the it con. is the first con. Um, this is like a dream come true for me because I am I self-identified proud card carrying nerd. So uh, you know, comic books, trading cards, superheroes, all of that was just my bag. When I, I used to draw. I draw myself, but like I used to draw my own comic books. And stuff. So like, being able to come here with a project that I absolutely love and do what I love and be surrounded by energy that I feel like I identify with is just a perfect story. Perfect story. Yeah, so very, very lucky to be here. Yeah. It's just so much like everyone's in there. Yeah, you can tell everyone's in there. So lucky to like, be able to play in front of the play the in front of an audience here and see their reaction. And, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, yeah. Yes, I feel like you. Everyone seemed to love it, and that's always nice when you put hard work into something very so that people seem to love But um, you mentioned Orville, and yes. I have interesting trivia uh, <laughs> <laughs> for Orville. Um, we shot the pilot before we went to go shoot. I did a lot of it. I was very poor. <laughs> And I did a lot of extra work to kind of, you know, sustain myself. I ended up doing extra work on Orville. Oh, there you go. Like, did you get a cool costume? And I had actually, this, it's, a, it's a, such a good story. Um, on Orville, and one of our series regulars, Rena Owen, did a guest star. Who uh, plays Helen? Who plays yes. Helen on the show? I swear I didn't know any of her. Yeah, <laughs> she did. She did a guest star. On the, the show, the episode just aired. Uh, it was with the Mocklins with the baby. Uh, they had to do the uh, the sex change with the, with the baby. Uh, and I had on this giant mask. And I was sweating bullets, but I was just an extra. I was sitting there, and I actually got to sit and watch Rena perform under all of this makeup, playing this character. And it was just. I'm just so inspired by her. She's so good. But like, whenever I hear her Orville, I'm just like, oh yeah, I was on that set, <laughs> sweating as an extra. <laughs> yeah. And now you're on the sirens. And now I'm, I'm sweating. Sweating. <laughs> sweating as a lead. It's true. It's so true. <laughs> so how challenging is that to work on a show where that's so much? Take uh, half of the show, I would say, takes place in the water, outside the water. How challenging is that? You didn't actually go in the water. No, he has more you submerged stuff than yeah. I do. I jumped in the water. And there will be more of you jumping in the water. <laughs> jumping in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I surf back home, so, well, where I'm living at the moment in LA. Um, so I just love the water. So when this came up, uh, the idea of being in the water, I love this now. Uh, we trained to do these breath holds because you're kind of acting on the water, so you have to get over the fact that you're freaking out. Um, and trying to like stay alive and like be able to relax yourself so that you can come kind of, act on the water and do these fight scenes and things like that. Uh, so that was really cool. Yeah, Xander doesn't get in the water. Uh, I'll get you in the water. <laughs> yeah, no, Xander's a fisherman. We, the, the fisherman lawyer is like, yeah, we don't get in that. We take the fish out of that, but we don't we, we don't do that. Uh, so it's actually kind of nice. I dodged the underwater bullet. Uh, <laughs> maybe in season one. <laughs> ben just jumps in. He just loves to jump into the ocean. He needs to jump. It's like not even for any reason. Yeah, yeah. Want me to jump? I'll jump in. I'll jump, I'll jump in the ocean. He's like, that wasn't the question I asked you, Ben. You were actually just talking about what movie you wanted to see. But no, seriously, I'll jump in the ocean. That's <laughs> In a nutshell. So what are we going to get to see in terms of your characters interacting with Marlene's character because obviously you have had you know, you have most of your interactions but it'd be interesting to see because you know you're kind of get scared of them. Yeah, I think I think Xander's perspective on all the mermaids is uh, it's, it's it's very different. You know, he's a very he had a very different first experience with them. <laughs> um, and I mean, I really I, I don't have many Xander and Rin don't really cross paths. I mean, definitely not in the pilot. And I think for Xander, it's still I'm still figuring things out. You know, I think there's he's not um, he's not a stupid character, but he's and not by any stretch of the means. He's actually very intelligent, but he is still naive in the sense that you know he doesn't really know the full scope of what's going on. But 
he f figure he's putting things together. I he think that's a really together. interesting thing when you say that as far as yeah and what you kind of had they've had different experiences like his first experience of a mermaid is her attacking people in the ship and like wounding his best, best friend. And my first is a, 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 like this feral kind of this feral girl, this feral girl who seems like she needs who seems like she needs help initially. So I think from from there, and obviously she doesn't really need my help. She needs to get back in the water because um, she's pretty down tough. Like, as far as our first experiences. And then obviously my world is a little rocked when she actually attacks me, but I think because initially I saw her as something different. Yeah. You have the luxury of treating her altruistically. Yeah. You know, because your first experience with her, you really were able to take some time. And also you didn't meet her in mermaid form first. You met her as a girl and a woman. And me, and I, I, I've never seen like I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the transformation. I don't know that they yeah, just you know, yeah. So it's just this dangerous thing that we just pulled out of the ocean. You know, it's fun. So is it going Last to be? Oh. <laughs> um, so oh, I just like lost the question. <laughs> Let's see if it comes back. Anyone? Um, <laughs> Well, you guys are both into, well, your characters are both into the water. Like, do you know why, like, how they got into it? Like, do you have that backstory? Are we going to get backstory for how your characters met originally? Yeah, too? that too. Well, we yeah. grew up together on the island. The same yeah. time. It's a really small, not island, we're not on an island, we're in a coat. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not it's an different. island. But the same. Um, but we're, 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 it's a water town. It's like the entire culture is kind of based around the ocean. Uh, and I think... I don't know if we're gonna have like they're really gonna go back and explore. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. They don't tell us these things. Um, but I feel like in the current, as people are dealing with where their relationship is now, you get like a good insight as to where their relationship was. Yeah. Uh, and as, as far as Ben's reason for kind of being involved in water, yeah, we grew up in this coastal town. I think um, Ben's mo Ben's mom is uh, is like was in a car accident when she was about fourteen and was paralyzed. And I think that he was, he was really kind of like was the memory of that and was helping her through all of this stuff. And I think the water and uh, sit like the, 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 the studies that he was doing and the saving of animals that he was doing kind of became his like place of solace. So I think that's kind of how he actually fell in love with the water. And then, so then when Rin comes to land and he's, it's this creature that is so connected to that water and to that, to, to the thing that he loved, that loves, and has been his solace. Uh, I think he, even without the the mermaid song, I think he feels a real like connection to her and desire to find out about her and to get close to this thing that he's already loves. Yeah, yeah. and that's a different perspective as well because like when you think of the water as this, as this you know, it's a very wondrous thing, and I think Xander thinks of it as very industrial, dangerous, yeah, industrial. very de dangerous industry. It's like part of livelihood. It's not like wonder, you know? <laughs>